looking at uh, quite a bit of rain at this point, especially north of I-20, east of I-65. We're getting a break in west central Alabama, but it's not going to last all that long. We do have more rain on the way. It'll be here by early tomorrow morning, uh, but right now some of the heaviest rain falling across parts of Chilton County into Coosa County, Clay County as well. And I did want to show you what's off to the west, so kind of a break. If you look towards Mississippi, you'll see uh, that break there, but more on the way uh, that area of rain moving through Louisiana is headed in our general direction. So we'll keep some passing showers in the forecast overnight. We cool effectively a north breeze will allow our temperatures to drop into the 40s by early tomorrow morning. So a very chilly start and we just kind of remain chilly all day long. But trends are good in the forecast for the race. It does appear most of the heavy widespread rain will be out of here by tomorrow afternoon. We could have a passing shower at 2 o'clock, but we're trending drier. Temperatures look to hold in the 50s uh, by 2 p.m., close to 60 degrees as we approach the late afternoon hours. So let's talk more about uh, the rain tomorrow. So as we start the day, I am going to stop the clock here right around 6 a.m. We've got quite a bit of coverage of rain around, so a steady rain for the morning hours. As we move later in the morning, we'll have just very hit and miss showers, temperatures in the 40s and low 50s, so a very chilly day for us. 2 o'clock, a few passing showers still possible, but Look at the coverage really kind of clearing out just in time for the start of the race and then the clouds will follow as some cooler, drier air filters into the state that is going to drop our temperatures significantly uh, tomorrow night and into early on Monday morning. For those who are ahead of the Birmingham Barons game tomorrow afternoon, we're looking pretty good. I do think the rain is done. We'll have some clouds around first pitch, but during the game, our temperatures dropping through the 50s. Uh, we should be able to get that game in tomorrow. For Monday, we are going to start the day very chilly. We are really going to start in the upper 30s and low 40s. That's below average for this time of year. But the good news is that we warm nicely by the afternoon to near 70 degrees. So let's talk more about that seven day forecast. Tomorrow we got rain around the first half of the day. Second half of the day is drier, but all day long we're chilly. Monday afternoon we'll see a high near 70 and then we are back to near or above average Tuesday through the rest of the week.